video where we'll be testing the 18 watt high power ultraviolet LED. Uh, so let's take a look. Here we can see the LED array unit here. Um, that's the actual LED. There's uh, 25 separate segments in there. The LED is mounted onto this metal back plate which we've drilled in two places here and mounted onto uh, a standard computer heatsink. We purchased a copper heatsink with the heat pipes which we can see here. It was actually from a HP server. The idea is to keep the heat of the unit to a minimum because the heat buildup can actually shorten the life of the LED array. We've just soldered some test leads on here which we'll be connecting to. First thing we need to do is to set up our power supply. So if we take a look at that, we can see what we've done is we've set the power to give us 19 volts and we've currently limited it to 1 amp. So these are the typical ratings for this particular LED unit which will give us about 18 watts or, or thereabouts. So let's connect the leads up. And we'll switch on the power. As we can see the power's on. Looking at our meter, we've uh, current limited. So this is a constant current supply of 1 amp. So we're getting about 18.8 watts. As we can see the LED is extremely bright. And the manufacturer rates this to uh, anywhere between 700 milliwatts. Uh, per centimetre squared all the way to two and a half thousand milliwatts per centimetre squared. If we turn it over we should be able to see it illuminating areas on this mat. There you go all those bits that are fluorescing that if we look take the light away we, we can't really see those. So this particular unit could be used for curing adhesives, sealants um, or even a, a printing press. The heat sink is, is keeping the unit nice and cool. Um, there is actually a, a thermistor on this board where we can actually measure the temperature of the actual metal backing plate. We could dim the power supply to the unit or, or even cut off the power for a, a short period of time. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you very much.